on the 24th of September 2014 at the cost of a mere 72 million US dollars. India proved to the world that the sky is not the limit. And this was recognized by the world. The international community stood up and applauded. With the same speed and efficiency, India as a country has been launched on a high trajectory of growth. Archaic, opaque and dysfunctional rules, regulations, processes, acts and laws that inhibited growth have been eliminated. The process of changing the work culture is taken up as the most important work. Business process re-engineering has been undertaken and departments have been converged with one single objective. Make governance efficient and effective, transparent and responsive. Ease of doing business is the new mantra. In a creative move, the Planning Commission has been replaced by the National Institution for Transforming India, Niti Ayo. This will play a pivotal role in India's faster and yet inclusive development. A new wave of economic reforms has been unleashed. FDI has been opened up vigorously in insurance, rail, defense, construction and medical devices sectors. A vast number of defense items have been deregulated. The diesel price regime has been dismantled. The government has initiated bold and radical measures to reinvigorate growth. The Goods and Services Tax Bill introduced in Parliament. Land acquisition laws modified to catalyze development in the remote areas while protecting farmers' interests. The government launched the Make in India initiative to convert India into a global hub for manufacturing, design, research and innovation. The government is providing thrust to a dedicated freight corridor and industrial corridors. A National Industrial Corridor Development Authority to oversee the development of new industrial corridors across the country is on the anvil. The Digital India Campaign to use technology to leapfrog and spread ICT infrastructure across the country. The Skill India program launched to harness India's youth power with a new skill and entrepreneurship department. To encourage entrepreneurship further, a unified, simple web portal for labor law compliance has also been launched. Returns and register requirements minimized. Online real-time registration of ESIC and EPFO has been launched. To ensure regular and constant flow of apprentices, the Apprentice Act 1961 has been amended. All this with the spirit of maximum governance, minimum government. Urban, regional and rural infrastructure will be the key driver of India's growth. The government is driving a range of rail, road and metro projects. As 700 million Indians get into the process of urbanization, the government is launching Smart Cities program. A major impetus has been provided to the energy sector with the launch of new hydro, gas-based and thermal projects and new generation transmission grids. The coal and mining sector has been streamlined for supply of natural resources in a transparent manner. With sustainability as the key philosophy, 25 mega solar parks have been launched, a green energy transmission corridor has been initiated and a national target of 20,000 megawatt in solar energy generation fixed. Financial inclusion for the masses has been fast-tracked with the Jandhan Yojana. A hundred million new bank accounts have been opened already. Recognizing that national development must include quality of life, the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan is a movement that has been launched to ensure all-round cleanliness, hygiene and health. It has motivated the entire nation, from hamlets to cities, from celebrity to the common man. As India advances and becomes a modern, technology-driven nation, it must retain its traditional values, heritage and culture. Yoga is India's gift to the world. With the announcement of the UN Yoga Day, yoga went international. With the same spirit, the country is also focusing on cleaning the river Ganga for pure water and purer spirits. A confident, vibrant India facilitated the agreement in WTO for world trade India's democratic and economic strength were recognized at the G20, ASEAN, BRICS, EAS and SARC summits. Bilateral meetings led to a plethora of investment agreements. 
35 billion US dollars from Japan, 50 billion US dollars from the USA. FDI has grown by 30%. Inflation is at its lowest. And there is a new energy, vibrancy and dynamism. The OECD has forecast that India is the only country among the top economies to increase its pace of growth. HSBC identified India as the world's largest growing exporter and IMF has termed India to be the second fastest growing economy in the next five years. India is reinventing itself as a major economic power. India is rediscovering itself as a knowledge power with strong institutions of democracy and a stronger workforce. India is emerging as a global destination. हमारे पास स्किल है टैलेंट है डिसिप्लिन है कुछ कर गुजरने का इरादा है हम विश्व को एक सानुकूल अवसर देना चाहते हैं क्या ये कम मेक इन इंडिया